Cool, second round here in the M14 draft, pre-release. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play first. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna keep. We have, I need a blue to really get claustrophobia turned on, should be a problem, but we have two drops and three drops happening, so. Um, no mulligans. And we'll see if we have a little more interactive game than the last game, where my opponent just completely flooded out. And what was I doing? I was playing first, right? Okay, I will get that island out. Um, Seacoast Drake or Coral Merfolk first? Ooh, playing another um, Blue Mage. That's interesting. Um, I think, actually, I care more about Sentinel Sliver. It's definitely the best two-drop I have. And um, if my opponent doesn't play a two-drop, I get a nice, really, uh, two points in. Um, Seacoast Drake kind of being a more later gameplay of, of coming up ground and then um, having flyers on board. Yeah, uh, I'm content uh, to go ahead and bash in here. My opponent could have a, uh, a, uh, an essence scatter up, therefore I'm gonna go ahead and play Coral Merfolk. Also gets the most, um, power on the board, so if my opponent hiccups again, on not playing a creature, I have a lot more coming through. Normally you want to play Griffin Sentinel earlier, that way uh, you're using your mana efficiently, but I'm not going to play into an Essence Scatter. And we'll continue to bash in. Uh, now I'm a little, um, I need to decide, uh, Griffin Sentinel is strictly better than Seacoast Drake. Uh, my opponent didn't Essence Scatter that turn. I'm going to go ahead and base my uh, guess that my opponent doesn't have Essence Scatter uh, and didn't want to just like waste a turn. And that was pretty much a safe, uh, you know, a pretty safe bet. Um, ooh, it looks like my opponent's playing three colors here. Um, I'd be happy with just ripping a couple islands off the top at this point uh, to get my removal spell online and to be able to get Sea Kite and then Dawn Strike Paladin on board keep the pressure up while my opponent uh, decides what to do. Let's see, so maybe my opponent is um, base green and just wasn't able to get that that initial color online. Uh, not exactly the spell I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, the question is, do I want to trade Coral Morfolk for Elvish Mystic? I think I do, seeing as my opponent seemed to be somewhat um, mana screwed, and, I, and I'm okay with just... Uh, adding a lot of pressure online. Is that correct? Yeah, I think in this case it's correct. I don't think Coral Morphok's gonna matter much, and if I can just keep my opponent off more mana, which seems to be the case, I'm perfectly okay with that. So they trade, that's okay. My opponent takes three, and then we'll have Sea Kite down for next turn. And keep on beating. Lay the land. Is my opponent going deep on like four colors or something? No, just knew that segment. So really glad that I did that, I think. Nope, not so much. Ooh, giant spider. So I need my claustrophobia here soon. Oh, I am allowed to, uh, I will be able to attack with my flyers at least. And if I can rip an island, then we'll be in good shape. And we are in good shape. So that is exactly the target I want for my claustrophobia. Especially on this tempo game right now. Do I didn't have an extra island to also be able to play the Seacoast Drake, but I won't be super picky. My opponent's on a turn two clock unless a flyer or reach gets brought on board. Uh, that's assuming any creature comes down to block Sentinel Sliver. Okay. 2-1. Not worried about that. Uh, do I want to trade off my Sentinel Sliver with the Train Condor? Not really. My opponent doesn't have any profitable blocks here anyway, so that's fine. the same clock anyway. Okay, jump mode or pump? Pump. 
my opponent takes only one. And then we're just going to add, mm -hmm. yeah. Dawn Strike Paladin on the board. And now we have the lethal on the ground. Plenty of cards my opponent can have in these three colors. I wonder what the um, the black splash is for. Possibly a Doom Blade. Mark of the Vampire, maybe? Probably Doom Blade. Ooh, 4-4. Four, four. Luckily it's on the ground. So I can still get in with my Griffin Sentinel. Um, and Claustrophobia up that guy to keep bashing in. Still going to hold the Sentinel back, Sentinel server back. Could be correct just to um, force the trade. And let's just seal the deal here. I'm not worried about a Wrath or anything. My opponent can do whatever at that point. Very scared. My opponent's playing colors that I wanted to play. Green, blue, with probably a Doom Blade Splash. Unless there's some um, nasty, evil, rare card that's being splashed for, which certainly could be the case. Alright. Let's see. So. Back to this Auromancer. Could work with Illusionary Armor, because we saw the pump spell. There could be discard or sacrifice outlets to get rid of my... my enchantments. Haven't seen it yet. And then the 2-2 two -two by itself at 3 is just going to be outclassed so fast. From what I saw, I want to get rid of Auromancer. Um, there could be a Disperse or something, so I might end up coming back down if we lose this next game. Um, question is, do I rather have a Capuchin Knight? No. I'm going to have to pump it so high if it's going to do any kind of trading. Um, do I want an Armored Cancrix to help block? No, I got too many. got too many 5-drops. Already disperse could help if my opponent's getting a little bit greedy, uh, but I think pay no heat's going to be the route again, just to kind of combat a uh, a, uh, a a pump spell of some sort. Not excited for it, but it's just an easy inclusion at one white um, against everything else that's going on. Could be a divination draw in. Aww. Let me get some more cards smooth out. Yeah, we're going to bring in Divination. My opponent's kind of playing a greedy mana base, it would seem. Maybe I just got, you know, kind of unlucky that time, but this might help me get there. Um, although with that ramp, there, I saw there is definitely a potential for my opponent to have some explosive starts. So I am um, a little bit worried about that. We're just going to want to be able to draw into our claustrophobes and pacifisms to uh, make that happen. So, yeah, I prefer this. Okay, uh, so we right away have a mole. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to be able to draw those. It's good. And my opponent also mole, so yes. Whew. Sadly, another mole. Um, this, this hand just doesn't do anything, and uh, we don't have enough lands. So this is going to be a little rough and tumble. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, kind of wish I had the other hand now, but well, I think it was worth um, trying to see if we can grab something a little more spicy. And a turn one something? Tomb Scar. That is interesting. Go ahead. That is an odd card to be playing, and should never be played. Um, just for those of you watching who don't know, this uh, mill card will pretty much never ever um, win you the game. And there's no mill strategy in this, in this format. So really, the only thing you want to be doing is, um, if you're milling someone out, is playing Jace. And at that point, if you have Jace, you don't need support cards. Plain and simple. Alright, so getting a turn for 4-4, four, four, ugh, I need an island fast. Despite already having two lands in hand, I'm actually not um, sad if I draw another land, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't the island one, so now... I need to uh, just take 10 points of damage, boom, boom, and then get Siege Mastodon online to uh, start blocking the Rumbling Bailoth. So, we'll see how that goes.
I seen scatter would have been fine there. Such are mold of fives, though. My opponent is out of uh, cards already. I mean, it's getting very low on cards, I should say. So, wow. Just a whole lot more island, or, uh, planes. I do have nine islands in the deck over only eight planes. I wouldn't mind a little bit more a diversity in my colors. All right. Luckily, we can start making some stabilizing plays soon, but it still worries me that uh, my opponent definitely has the upper hand having uh, two cards in hand and whatnot. This is an essence scatter, and it is four, five, six, and wow, we're going down to one here. Gonna be pretty hard to bounce back from this. Pretty sure I won't bounce back from this, because what happens? I go down to one, maybe I remove a creature, and then play another, and then I may have to deal with two other creatures. Yeah, I'd have to draw something pretty insane. Okay, can I do anything here? No. So. We'll go ahead and let my opponent attack. Keep up Nathalia's Sea Kite. In case my opponent doesn't attack, though that's not going to happen. And concede game. Hmm. If Siege Bastion had landed, might have been able to uh, stabilize enough and uh, get there. But couldn't do it. Essence Scatter, though, um, definitely something to care about. Maybe I do want to disperse over um, my little uh, pay no heat. Oh wait, what did I bring in over pay no? Oh yeah, I brought in uh, divination. Ooh, I don't know. I think maybe I do like divination. That would have really helped out. Not that I saw it, but disperse does set my opponent back. Playing that four drop, oh, but I have so many answers to it that I shouldn't be over committing to it. I think it's just getting to the answers. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Uh, yes, I would like to play first and not Mulligan. Hey, we're not going to mulligan. We got a two drop. Um, probably going to get the four drop online turn. Again, we need another island, but we should be able to get there. We're taking below six. No thanks. Yes, so no thanks. Tomb Scour? <laughs> okay. Go for it. Oh, there's my divination. Hey, another claustrophobia. That will be relevant, eventually. Okay. One island, and I am a happy camper. Hey, I am a happy camper, so... And then, Essence Scatter could be there, but, you know, I'm not playing anyway, because I don't have a 3-drop. Okay, Brindlebore. And we'll just pass the turn with Seat Kite up. Because my opponent doesn't know that I have Seat Kite. Please play the 4-4. Four four. Oh gosh, I hope you play the 4-4. Four four. <laughs> we'll take two here for sure. Um, the reason why I didn't do Seed Kite now is in case Essence Scatter is available. I don't want that to happen. And then, yeah, in response, we will just go ahead and play Nathalia Seed Kite. <sighs> I could Claustrophobia now, bash in for four, give her that giant spider. Or I could just play Pillar Fill Locks and start going um, a little more conservatively. Since my opponent um, does have Essence Scatter, and I don't want to be having to uh, wait to be playing out my creatures against Essence Scatter, um, I'm fine doing Playful Locks now and uh, get in with my free attack. Should have attacked first, because um, my opponent um, would have thought maybe I had some kind of pump or something available to me. So that was a misplay. I should have attacked first, then played Playful Locks. I was just kind of going with efficiency of time. But that did not matter.
Train Condor. Okay. So, I like getting more islands online. I think now is the time that I claustrophobia the giant spider. Attack in with the sea kite for sure. Do I care about um, Pillar Filled Ox trading with one of these guys? I'm happy if it changed with a condor. So yeah, that's a that's good news for me. Because the only way to kill the Pillar Fox is a double block, and then I, I'm happy to kill the Train Condor, keep my, my air guy open. So this is either a block and sack, or a uh, giant growth. Certainly a thing. Definitely want you to die first. Giant growth? Cool. That is very good for me. Ah, disperse. For a moment, I got really excited thinking my opponent uh, targeted claustrophobia. But my opponent did not. So here it comes the sun, another giant spider. I have to decide, do I want to use another um, Claustrophobia? Sight out that my, my opponent has Disperse. I might have wanted to have that or, um, or a Mancer back. But I didn't know that at the time, silly. Um, yeah, we're just going to Claustrophobia again. Play the Seacoast Drake. Um, um, yeah, I just keep the, keep the air free. The opportunity should get me... Um, another removal spell, or close to another removal spell in a turn or two. So yeah, I like, definitely like that idea. Still living in fear of the 4-4. Essence Scatter could... S oh no, this is, has summoning sickness, so not worried about Essence Scatter right now. Uh, which means I might have wanted to play the Dawn Strike Paladin while I had an opening, but that happens to not be the case. We're just going to keep Picking away at life totals in the air. Messenger Drake. Okay. We can block it at least. Oh, hey, an opportunity is available. Um. Do I get Dawn Strike Paladin down or do Opportunity? Opportunity. Who playing this boy? Uh, I will block the. I will double block the Messenger Drake again. I, I just want to get um, uh, the air opened up. And normally I would just keep Opportunity up, but um, I'm taking I'm taking Opportunity to play my creature uh, so that I don't have to play around Essence Scatter because I'm going to be living in fear of Essence Scatter for the rest of the game if my opponent wants to uh, mana bluff something. Ooh, Divination. So who draws in a gas first? Hopefully with my opportunity, that's me. Off. Still have some blocks, so that's good. My opponent's tapped out. <clears throat> oh, I'm so tempted just to uh, tap down the Messenger Drake, bash for three in the air, keep up Dawn Strike Paladin and Sentinel Sliver to block the Rampaging Bailoth. But I think it's going to be much better. Uh, to play Opportunity and see what my options are uh, a little bit later. And I haven't seen a, uh, a negate or anything. I don't think my opponent really saw any instants or sorceries to warrant playing that. Okay, so this does get my opponent the card. 
We're going to do the double blocks. Could get some blowouts, but with claustrophobia and opportunity um, here to kind of save the day, that's okay by me. Question is, do I just take four right now anyway? Yeah. Could be a pump here to get rid of both my guys. Definitely worried about it. Um, but uh, it looks like my opponent just wanted to draw into something else. And I'm fine with that. Because if it's ain't a flyer, I can start pinging away. You have to target yourself. Well, that's good news. Hey, lots of action. How about it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, five. So maybe just Griffin Sentinel and Claustrophobia? Kind of like just getting Messenger Drake on board. Dawnstrike Paladin and, Sil uh, and Sentinel Sliver are doing a pretty okay job against uh, R Rumbling Baleth. Yeah, I like that game plan. This game's going to go long. Are we good on time? Yeah, we should be okay on time. Um with really the main issue being this Brindleborg. Really, you're at 17 life, which is why we need a little bit more pressure right now. Ooh, is there an Essence Scatter in the future? I'm gonna um, bust out this Dawn Strike Paladin again in case there's an Essence Scatter, and then uh, that'll keep Messenger Drake free. This just really blocks the Rolling Baleth all day. All right, cool, so there's no Essence Scatter. Definitely wish. That means I should be pretty good with Messenger Drake. One, two, three, four, five, one. Two. Cool, so I can play both now. And get some flyers online. Blink. Is my opponent worried about another flyer and essence scattering it? No. There we go. And this is why Opportunity is an amazing card. Look at what that got me to get going. While my opponent's just trying to top deck, boom. We get all the goods. And there's even no point to play Claustrophobia yet until my flyers are dealt with by my opponent some way, somehow. Uh, sure, I'll play another land. Let my opponent think that's all I got. Next turn, I could go ahead and Claustrophobia the Baleth and, and do an attack in, but there's still Brendelbor to gain some life, so this game isn't entirely won yet. And I'm just going to keep it up for um, something that matters. Good news is, is should Mr. Drake die, I get to draw a card. Okay. Second opportunity would be insane here. Tomb Scour. Well, I am down to seven cards in hand, so I do only have a few more turns to make dreams come true. But I think we're going to get there with this Claustrophobia um, one way or another, so yeah. My opponent's at six. If I Claustrophobia... Yeah, but that's just how I lose if my opponent has something. Um, and I'm fine with having a, a number of turns to still win this game. I think Tomb Scarrow is being seen as like something that actually kind of works really well against my deck because I'm so grindy. But having this many turns, I mean, to get my opponent one extra life um, probably isn't going to be a big deal. Air Servant. Now that is a good card. That will definitely help the race. I'm 
who knows, one, two, three, one, two, three activations up, um, which means all of my flyers are lethal. So I'm not too worried about this. Because all my flyers can bash in. Since my guys have Vigilance, I am attacking in case there's something that can uh, bounce one of my guys. Um, but yeah, there we go. Got the game. Uh, normally, uh, if my guys didn't have Vigilance, I wouldn't attack in because it can really expose me. So yeah, I'm at 18 life, um, so it's a little conservative, but maybe uh, I just want to make sure I guarantee the Bayleth not going down. Cool. I will go to round three, the finals, in just a moment. <laughs> 